Welcome to the NetApp Solid Fire video series on comparing all flash architectures. My name is Jeremiah Dooley, and I'm one of the principal architects in the Solid Fire office of the CTO. Before we get started, we wanted to go over a couple disclaimers for the rest of the videos in this series. The first is that all information that's been pulled concerning all of the vendors that we are comparing today has been pulled from public sources. If there's anything in these videos that's incorrect or anything that is out of date, please either blame me for reading the material incorrectly or blame the publicly available information. It's also important to note that as we go through this, we're not necessarily saying that one architecture or one design feature is better than all of the others. The idea here is to compare the trade-offs that were made, to compare the architectural decisions that were made, and to see what sort of impact that has both on the product as well as on the customers who consume that product. As we go through, you'll note that we're talking specifically about three companies when we do this comparison. The first is the Solid Fire All Flash Array, the second is the Dell EMC Extreme IO Array, and the third is the Pure Storage Array. When we look at the storage market today, especially as it relates to Flash, we see three different types of products that are coming out. The first is a very hardware-centric application acceleration platform. This includes the likes of the Dell EMC DSSD product, as well as violin memory. In this case, we generally have a small amount of data management and a small amount of data services, and what we're really trying to do is accelerate the performance of a single application. The second type of all flash arrays that we see are those that have been retrofit into an existing architecture. Largely, these are dual controller architectures that have for years been supporting spinning disk, and companies attempt to use metadata management tools and data services add-ons to be able to support flash storage within these architectures. The third type, and the type that we're going to focus on today, are the native all-flash designs. And in this case, each of the three products that we're discussing was built from the ground up, both hardware and software, to be able to handle the latency and the performance that flash requires. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video series.